Hi, everybody. Welcome to Contra Costa County's online baby yoga presented by Jennifer Tipton with Kim Sin Yoga. This week, we are having our baby yoga session today at four o'clock. And then next week on July 29th, on Wednesday at four o'clock, we will also have toddler yoga. So please join us for that one as well. Thank you. And may I present Jennifer Tipton. Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to Baby Yoga. And today I would like to introduce Baby Bella. She is my pretend baby for today. And she will help us out with the demonstration. And I know babies crawl around a lot and move around. So we're just going to have fun with our baby today. And remember that we want to do what makes baby happy as long as baby's having a good time and seems like, you know, they're having a good time, we'll continue. Otherwise, we can always give them a little bit of a break. So for now, we'd like to have kind of maybe a blanket or a nice soft area in front of us. And we're going to take our baby or bring our baby over and just take the baby so that the feet of your baby are facing your knees and the head is away. And whenever we start any activity with our baby, we're going to ask baby's permission. So we'll say, and use your baby's name, Baby Bella, is it okay if we practice yoga today? And she says, yeah. <laughs> so always keeping some physical contact with our baby. I've got her little feet here so she knows that I'm close by. And whenever we do an activity or any movement, we give lots of kisses, lots of praise to our baby. So we're going to start now just by touching the baby's feet and moving the baby's legs up and down. Just a little bit of movement and any kind of movement with the arms and the legs increases circulation and maybe doing one at a time, and always looking at your baby, making eye contact. And baby Bella likes this. She's happy, so I'll keep going. <laughs> Good. And then, now that we've played with the feet a little bit, we're going to take those little hands and arms and just start moving around in some little circles. So just moving in circles here. And she might be holding on, your baby might be holding on to your fingers and that's wonderful, it's a wonderful bonding experience. And we'll start to move the arms in different directions. This helps to increase circulation. So we'll go north, south, east, west. You're the baby, I like the North, south, east, west. You're the baby I like best. North, south, east, west. You're the baby I like best. More. North, south, east, west. You're the baby I like best. One more. North, south, east, west. You're the baby I like best. Yay! And we go, yay! And lots of tickles and maybe some kisses. You know, this is a lot of work for a baby. So we just want to you know, take it slow and in between. So when we do any kind of activity like this, it helps to have something close by. And usually if we have a baby, we have something um, like a shaker. It's my egg shaker here. Or maybe, this was actually my daughter's a while ago, like a teething ring, just something to bring their attention and move the head. So we'll do that a little bit and maybe keeping one hand on our baby's belly and just shaking over to the left, seeing if baby moves their head and over to the opposite side. Good, and that will give baby a little bit of a stretch. Depends also on baby's head control here. Okay. I'm gonna do this a few more times. We tend to do five repetitions 
I know my baby's not moving and your baby's probably moving a lot. So go at your own pace and take your time. <laughs> but, perfect. There we go. Yay! Good job. Good job, Bella. Good work. Good demo. Good demonstration. Okay. From here, we're going to do a little bit of baby massage. And it's just like kneading dough. So we'll start at the arms and just gentle squeezes down the arms. And this also helps to improve circulation and feels really nice for a baby. So we'll start at the top and do about five times just some gentle squeezes down. Mm -hmm. Gentle squeezes. And keep looking at your baby, smiling at your baby, <laughs> interacting, eye contact. And maybe just playing with the feet a little bit in between, giving a little bit of a tickle, maybe some kisses. <laughs> She's doing so well. <laughs> okay. So that's a really good one for just increasing circulation, those two um, yoga baby exercises. The next one is really nice for uh, relieving gas or constipation. We want baby to have good digestive function. So this one's really nice. We're going to take the knees, and let's see, Bella's knees don't bend a lot, but you get the idea. So take the knees into the chest and just go over to one side, gentle, and then to the opposite side. And sometimes you'll get like a, a reaction from baby, like a little gas, or that's actually a good thing. We want that. Remember that baby's organs are still developing. So we want to be really gentle, hi, and move her, him or her. And then we'll take the knees towards one side and we want baby to look the opposite way. So this is when we could take a little shaker or something and just over here, look over here. And we'll pretend like she's looking over to the opposite side. <laughs> sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. <laughs> and it's okay, good. And then we'll give baby a little bit of a break. Good job! Yay! Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so bring the knees in nice and easy. And then just going side to side. Remember, this one is good for digestion, and for the internal organs that are still developing. Perfect. And we go to the opposite side, just holding the knees to the opposite side. We'll grab our little shaker, whatever we have, and say, baby, look over here. Look over here, Bella. So the baby looks the opposite way of the legs. Good. And just set down your shaker, your toy, and nice and easy, bring baby's legs down. Perfect. So we'll find our hands on baby's tummy and we're just going to smooth things out a little bit. We always want to go clockwise, okay, that helps with digestion. But just some nice little circles here, nice and soothing, always keeping eye contact. <laughs> You're doing so well, Bella. So I'll keep talking to baby, right? <laughs> and we'll do that about five times or so, just some little, Circles clockwise. Very good. Okay. Now your baby maybe wandered around, or sometimes you have to do like a diaper change, or sometimes they get hungry, and that's fine. So you can come back to these um, yoga exercises, yoga poses at any time. Okay, so we'll move on. The next one is for coordination. So we'll take the right foot of the baby and the left hand. We know babies are so flexible. We're going to tap, 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 wee. We'll do that five times. Tap, 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 wee. 
amazing babies love the all the different sounds tap 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 wee <laughs> tap 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 wee one more tap 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 wee and we go yay good work Bella good coordination that was amazing and kisses all right when we do one side we need to do the other side so taking the left foot and the right hand we go tap 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 wee tap 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 wee tap 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 wee tap 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 one more. Tap, 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 wee. And of course, good work. Yay. Good job. Nice yoga, Bella. Really nice. Perfect. This next one is really good for kind of relaxing the lower back. So we'll take our hands and just take hands underneath baby's bottom. So take your time with that. And then we'll go bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> and this is real, it feels really good in the low back. We go bounce, bounce, bounce. And you know, baby's legs will move around, they might giggle and smile. Bounce, bounce, bounce. As long as baby's happy, we'll keep doing this. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And one more time. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Good, very good. Lots of praise, lots of kisses. Yay! Okay. So now that's a lot for baby. That's a lot of work for a little baby. So we'll take a little break here and give ourselves a little stretch because we've been, you know, bending over forward and working with baby. You're welcome to do this seated as well, but I'm going to come on to hands and knees. And this is really fun for baby as well. So we'll just be on hands and knees right over baby so baby can see us. And just gentle with our knees under our hips and our hands under our shoulders. And we'll do some cat cow. And we'll make the noises as we go. So let our belly come down, look at baby and say, moo. And then we round our back and go, and move <laughs> five times and yeah. and move yeah. couple more move yeah. and baby might be giggling and having some fun right now and that's all good one more Move and meow. Very nice. Excellent. And then just bending down and giving kisses on baby's tummy. And Bella is so happy right now. She's having so much fun doing yoga. So we'll come back to our seat now that we've had a little bit of a break and just take our hands back onto our baby's feet and just start to move up and down, up and down up and down Set. okay a little more coordination here we'll take the feet in our hands and press cross press cross so supporting your baby's feet and this is really nice for coordination and also good for bonding with baby Just setting baby's legs down, saying, Yay, good work, baby, good work, Bella. And this is okay. This next one, you can just, you know, you see how baby likes it, but it's really fun. It's something new for them. It's called the telephone. We'll take baby's foot. Up and your know, babies are very bendy. <laughs> we'll take baby's foot up towards their ear and go ring, ring, 
Ring. Hello. Is anybody there? And maybe they'll giggle and do the opposite side. Opposite foot comes up right to the ear. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Anybody there? Not yet. We're just keeping that nice playful energy here. Other side. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Is anyone home? Nope, nobody there. Moving to the other side. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Anyone home? Nope. Okay, we'll do one more on each side. This is really nice for circulation and coordination. Ring, ring, ring. Anybody home this time? Nope, still nobody home. Okay, last time, last call. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, anybody home? Nope, okay, we'll hang up the phone now. All right, and good work, yay! The baby's maybe moving around a little bit, that's okay, just go with the flow, have fun with it. We're going to squeeze nice and gentle down again, just so that baby knows we're here, just some gentle squeezes down the shoulders and the arms, nice and easy. There we go, a few more times. Always looking at babies, smiling, making eye contact. Good. Okay. And some babies, this is a lot, so they might be just ready to play a little bit. This is a really good time to go into some tummy time if you're working on that with your baby. And as we know, it depends on their age and their head control. So if tummy time is something that you are working on, this is a good time to come into tummy time. Bella is not really there yet, so I'm just gonna pretend. There we go. <laughs> so she's got her head up a little bit. And same thing here. And sometimes babies don't like a lot of tummy time, so if they get fussy, um, or it's too much for them, just go and, and take them back on their backs and keep moving the arms and the legs. If baby's okay, you can get maybe a shaker or a toy and just have baby look to one side. There you go, good work, Bella. And then maybe to the opposite side. Good. And this helps with coordination and muscle development. It's very good for the baby. So we'll do this a few times. Good. Baby's still happy. Bella's still happy. So I'm going to keep on going. You do what you need to do with your baby. Perfect. And then baby gets a little bit of a break. That's enough tummy time for now. So now, if baby's comfortable just staying on the back, maybe just moving arms and legs, that's always an option. Otherwise, you can pick baby up, depending on, oh, she opened her eyes, <laughs> depending on head control, and support baby on the torso. And then your opposite arm is free. So now we'll use the opposite arm to just have baby lifting one leg up, but always keep your hands around your baby so you're, you have a good hold of your child. And then just lift one foot up so baby's working on a little bit of balance. Now this foot that's up, when we bring it down, we're going to tap, tap, tap on the ground so that baby gets a sense of bringing the foot up and down and having the ground under the feet. So bring the same foot up and tap, tap, tap. Good. And we'll do that a few more times. So we lift the foot up and we tap, tap, tap. Do that one more time. And lift the foot up and baby bell is balancing and tap, tap, tap. Very good. So I'm going to switch hands, maybe in between. Give baby a little low. Good work. You're doing great, Bella. Really good yoga model. Super proud of you. All right, another side, the supporting baby here. And we'll take the opposite foot, lifting up for balance. And tap, tap, tap. 
Mm -hmm. We'll do this a few more times. Lift up and tap, tap, tap. Good. Lift up and tap, tap, tap. One more time here. Lifting up and tap, tap, tap. Very good. And so now I'm just going to hold her and just kind of see if she can feel the ground here. And she gets a sense of her feet on the ground and kind of that sensation like she feels like she's standing up and that's really fun for them. It's something new. Good. Maybe baby wants to look at you. So you can turn baby this way. There you go. Excellent. Yay. Good work, Bella. Good work. All righty. From here, if we've done all of that with baby, that's a huge workout for baby. That's a lot. So now we're going to let baby relax a little bit now. And we'll just take our hands and starting at the top of the head, just like you're brushing gently down top of the head and just gently run your fingers down, baby, all the way from head to toe. And we'll do this a few times. Top of the head and gently rubbing, just tracing the fingers. And now this is also a good thing to do. Some babies just puts them to sleep. It just depends. <laughs> So it's a little bit of technique here to put in your pocket and start at the top of the head and gently down the tummy and the leg all the way to the feet. We'll do a few more. Top of the head and gently down the arms, down the belly and down the leg all the way to the bottoms of the feet. And we'll stay here, right close to baby. Maybe taking baby's hands or feet, whichever one they like the best. And look at your baby and say, thank you so much for practicing yoga today. Thank you so much for doing such a good job. So lots of praise. Baby likes to hear their name. Good job, Bella. That was amazing. Great work. Can't wait for next time. That was so good. All right, so thank you everyone for joining me today for baby yoga. I hope that you had some fun with baby. And remember, this is a lot to do uh, at one time. So maybe you can take little parts of it and then come back to other parts later. And that's completely fine. As long as baby's having fun and enjoying themselves, then it's very beneficial. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much, Jennifer, for that wonderful performance with Baby Yoga, and also thank you to the Kimson Yoga in participation with that. And I would like to give a generous uh, thank you as well to our friends of the Arinda Library for supporting this program. Thank you very much. We will see you next week for Toddler Yoga at 4 p.m. on Wednesday, July 29th. Have a good day. Bye-bye.